How? How did you become so powerful? Now answer me this. What happened between you and the human, Mila Kresnik? Did it have anything to do with the creation of the Schism? Where'd you hear that name? It's become ingrained in Nia Kara folklore. But the story's details have been lost to time. Ah, interesting. I see now. You must be one of her descendants. That would explain the wealth of your power. I want you to tell us everything. Did you name me after her? After Mila Kresnik? And why would you want to know the answer? That's irrelevant to the mission I assigned you. Is it wrong to ask? I want to know about myself. I want to know what went through your mind before I was given birth. You want to know? Perhaps naming you after her led to that as well. So Mila's name was derived from Mila Kresnik. Is that a safe assumption? That woman pestered me incessantly with her constant questions. Why this? How that? She wanted to know it all. The voraciousness of human curiosity seems to have no boundaries or limitations. I must say it never ceases to amaze me. In many ways, it could be defined as one of humanity's most intriguing traits. Humans never halt their quest for knowledge, even if it means risking their own destruction. They're always looking to see what's ahead. The strength of their curiosity is stunning. When Spyrix began to drive spirits and humans apart, Mila stood against it. In striving to understand spirit kind, she represented more than just human beings. She was hope. Hope. She devoted all of her energy to the benefit of spirits and humanity alike. Truly a magnificent sight. It was a slow process, but one that showed promise. In time, humans who wished to coexist with spirits flocked to her side. Thus began the Kresnik clan. And yet, I understand that Kronos didn't think much of her. Kronos did not think much of any humans. At the end of the day, he found them inadequate beings who needed to prove their worth. I get it now. So that's the reason for the Origins trial. And welcome, guys, to this episode of Tells, as we get ourselves a question to start it off. So what happened to Mila Kresnik, or did you have a falling out with Cronus? Do you think one of these could actually get rep? Um... I would imagine it'd be the one asking about Mila Kresnik, maybe? Hopefully we'll find out about the falling out with Kronos anyway, because that mm. sounds the most interesting one. But yeah, if there was to be rep here, it'd be to inquire more about Mila Kresnik. It worked in the past, mentioning her name, rather than going, Kresnik, it was Mila! Poo poo. She was driven to her death by the humans who were members of her own clan. You couldn't save her from her demise? No, I never saw it coming. Unbeknownst to me, the Kresnik clan had become poisoned by a faction seeking to exploit spirits for profit. Mila would naturally not allow that. Therefore, they conspired to kill her. I concluded that the schism was the only solution. I would divide the world and bring over select humans on the Ark. But unlike what I expected, Mila refused my invitation. Instead of coming aboard the Ark, she chose to stand with the humans who had turned against her. And you saw her actions to stay behind as betrayal. Of course. Mila had thrown in with those who would rather pursue their own selfish desires. What else was I supposed to believe? That was a rude but much needed awakening for me. When presented with great power, humans cannot control themselves. And you spoke with Mila about her intentions? There was no need. Or were you perhaps afraid to ask and hear her answer? Afraid to find out her motivations, her intentions, and what she truly meant to you? Mm. The power of the Four! Get away from Lord Maxwell! Now, you filthy vermin! Muse commands the Four here? <laughs> Aren't they nice? I salvaged them from the remains of their former master. So Muse killed the Mila of this world. She's the catalyst. I'll kill anyone who dares defy Lord Maxwell. 
If they come back, I'll just kill them again! Because that is my sole mission! Incoming! Maxwell, not gonna stop this? We were having a nice chat? She's okay then, she's an enslaved catalyst, whatever that means, but she's weak to light, so lay some eggs! Wait a minute. Uh, how? Oh, never mind. It just seems weird. Like, they said earlier about the divergence catalysts usually being Kresniks who've used their power too much. But we've had, like, inanimate objects be the <laughs> divergence catalysts. Now Muse's one? So does that mean Has it's she not been that... one before? I don't know. Yeah, she's, like, been one twice. That's what made me think about it. It's like, well, if it's usually Kresniks, why has it mostly been other random crap we've had to do? I think it will hurt our brains to think about it more. Should we just True. beat it up? Yes. <laughs> Rolling the four. So. Right then, you got the four on your ass side. Oh, I'll, how dare you? But I've got power hit of uh, win don't here. Touch my eggs. I've tried to stun her. All. Where am I? Oh, go on over here. Okay. At least helping. We can do this. Well, yes, I'm we seeming to just taunt, go right taunt. through her instead of actually attack her at this point in time. Yes, I'll taking can. damage. <laughs> I don't like this person. Right. Wait, come we'll back We just here. need a power hit on, and then we can go to work. But most of the time, she kind of just dodges attacks anyway. Well, Hungry Hunter works nicely. Actually works really well. In fact, I think it even might have a paralyze effect on it. I think we've been paralyzed ourselves, though. So that's not too good. But our HP just tanks it up nowadays, doesn't it? Keeps advertising that pub again. <laughs> what? I'm not advertising anything. Oh, oh, we've got a Rolo fell on her then. Was she that? It was the normal cat. It was the lucky cat Rolo version. Well, it does make sense if you're going to throw a cat at someone. It should probably be a rather hefty one. Oh, miss. Oh. You and your teleporting music. I suppose it made sense from a resources perspective if they'd already made the evil music. Uh, they could just use the same character set, so they wouldn't have to do as much programming. It makes sense in many ways, but it's with the four as well, so it's like actually combining two characters programming if you think about it. Oh, I can never get my full arcane art. Oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Get away, get away, get away. Get away. Has our HP been lowered as well, our overall okay, HP pool? She oh, she's right there. I'm just thinking she's someone else. I'm like staying it. away because she's not in super mode anymore. Don't kill Elise in the meantime. You can heal yourself, can't you, Elise? I believe in you. Be gone. Oh, come here, you! Ah! I'm hungry, Hunter! I'm gonna use it to knock down again. Because she's hard to hit, I was just gonna do it on the first one. Supposedly, there's no damage. I, I definitely saw damage, but yeah, whatever. She's nearly defeated. Charge up a power hit? Oh. Run oh in. Oh. I'm on fire and per petrified. I got a power hit for like two seconds there. Hungry Hunter! Nope, missed again. Hungry Hunter! Yeah, she's down on the bum. Oh, we're, we're not doing well. We're doing fine. We seem to be fairly invincible now. But Hungry Hunter and Sunspark combined. I'm so sorry. May the four great spirits in this dimension watch over you. Well, now we've beat up both a sister and a dad. Yep. This is a great place for Mila to be in, that's for sure. Ensue all the people nagging us to put it on a harder mode. <laughs> <laughs> grown stronger still. You even bested Muse. Mila. You have seen enough now to grasp the hubris and cruelty that humanity is capable of possessing. And yet you still side with them? It is a duty that I, as Mila Maxwell, must fulfill. Interesting. You have defined your own duty, have you? I have, and in this mission, I am not alone. 
So you too have chosen to part ways with me. Maxwell? Go and live wherever you wish. It's no longer my decision. This is no cause for sadness, Maxwell. Even when separated, the bonds that tie us together cannot be so easily broken. This melody... Yes, no matter what happened, your heart was always so... Mila, why did you hum that tune? It just popped into my head, like a feeling I couldn't put into words. I can only hope Maxwell understood what I meant by it. Thank you, Luger. Because of you, I understand my predecessor's side of the story now. Although, I didn't learn the whole truth about Mila Kresnik. She couldn't stand the thought of abandoning those left in Olympias to die. That's why Mila Kresnik wouldn't go with Maxwell to Riza Maxia. How so? Because the world Mila Kresnik dreamed of long ago is the same one we wish to create now. She couldn't flee to a world that offered salvation for only a select few. But in reality, I'm sure Mila Kresnik wanted to ultimately be with Maxwell, too. So they could make their perfect world together. Jude. We've learned that our dream isn't a new one. People and spirits have been seeking it for ages. We have to make it come true. You're right. For Mila Kresnik's sake, as well as our own. It's the lab. I better take this. You might not know it, but you're already walking ahead of me, Jude. Is this really the time for me to interject? But, but you walk the same road, or do you feel like you've been left behind? Oh, well, and obviously, I think. Saying they walk the path together in their lover's tryst. If you think so. I think so. That much is certainly true. But I know that I won't be around to see everything Jude will accomplish. I realize that's just the way it is, but I don't have to like it. Sorry. You okay? Yes. Is everything okay at work? Yeah, it should be fine. I guess it's up to us to carry the torch passed by Maxwell and Mila Kresnik. Hmm. We will put an end to Origin's trial once and for all. That we will. We've got ourselves a joke weapon, the fan girl, which I'm guessing might be a Luger. fan? When yeah, my Maxwell probably. dumplings go up for sale, you can use the proceeds to pay down your debt. Who's going to make them, you ask? Why, you are, of course. No skit telling us more, or no skit saying, Hey, we're such a great friend. Here, have this item. I love you. I'm disappointed when we don't get one, but let's check out this fangirl a second and get our yeah. opinions on it. A Harrison fan. It's pretty much in everything, you know. It's pretty much in everything. Right then, so, do you know what? We should actually receive our cats at some point as well, <laughs> because why not? Uh, send to the Titanian Abyss, because I think we had pink emeralds on our list again. Don't really need to give them any food at the moment. It's all fine. We've got an area bonus for there as well, but now it's time to find ourselves another job chapter to do, Becca. Shelton, Jandu, or Cambala? Shall I go for the middle of the three? Top, middle, or bottom? Um, I don't mind. I haven't been shouting for a while. I always choose option B, but we'll choose your option. What's going on in Shouton then? Will it be Elise? Could That's be the Rowan question. As well. It's in the next area. Oh, we didn't. We done Rowan. Unless oh, yeah, he's got no, another one. <laughs> Unless he's got another one. But no matter what, an Elise one is a Rowan one, isn't it? I have a feeling Zillia and Zillia 2 are going to merge together in my brain because it is just like one, one long game. Yeah, it is. They could have done it all in one thing, to be honest. 
software. It's like Tales of Graces and the Graces F expansion. In the expansion did feel like an expansion, though, no, didn't yeah. it? It's very tagged on. It was. But anyway, Elise, we're here to do your story chapter, ma'am. Something troubling you, young miss? Perhaps it would help to talk about it. I haven't been able to text Luna since, you know. Luna sends her texts, but Elise doesn't even read them. Ah, you're still upset about what happened with Exodus. I know I should move on, but I just can't get it out of my head. What would you do? What would Luca do? I try summoning the courage to text her. I guess I just keep ignoring her. I guess L1. Definitely L1. Is the option here. I don't think I have that much courage. What matters is what you want to do, young miss. That's the problem. I just don't know. This is the DODA. We've detected a new fractured dimension. We've sent over the coordinates. Please take appropriate action. A new mission? Can we come too? We're sick of stewing in our own thoughts. A fine idea. Sometimes a little distraction helps the mind work through difficult issues. And how handy we always have a job to go fight fractured dimensions at times like this. Yes, it's uncanny. It's uncanny! Right then, to F four two three A. This time we go with Jude on toe. No instant battle is a good sign, but let's quickly switcheroo. I guess we start with the usual on the street interviews. Catalyst, come out, come out, wherever you are. On the street interviews it is then. Should we talk to Mr. Man? Well, he's got black text bubble. We know we're generally looking for people with red text bubbles. Zhao is an excellent clan leader. He's courageous, sincere, and kind. There's a full spectrum of different types of people in the Katal clan. But everyone respects that man. Okay, would that lead to what we need? Well, here's a red text man. The clan leader of the Katals really loves his only daughter. She's the apple of his eye. It's an interesting contrast since he's so serious usually. Wait a minute, isn't that Elise? Jao has a daughter? Or something. This no, wait. seems to warrant further investigation. Which one was Zhao? Was Zhao was the big guy, MC Hammer. Wasn't that Elise? Like, he didn't... He took care of her after Elise's... Parents. ...died, or something on those so lines. So maybe... Hmm. I suppose he was a surrogate father, but not an actual father. I guess that's the link we're going for here. There isn't any more Unless, red text people. It could be the Elise of this world, and he might have just fibbed her and said, Yes, I'm your dad, and because she was younger and didn't remember her parents, maybe? That might be be true. Alright then, another red text guy. Oh, it's the resource guide guy. I don't care about the resource guide guy. I care about people that will lead us to our destination. Old man guy. Old woman guy, I'm sorry. You shouldn't walk alone at night. There are a lot of dangerous people around. It's just plain isn't safe. This is all because of those dang poachers and their stolen goods they set around here. Something doesn't add up. We should look into these poachers. Let's find some people to beat up, but meet with Drizelle is now our mission. So, straight on down the road. It's not that far, after all, to the manor. Maybe the pinkest are in this dimension. We'll have to prove our pinkiness again. Or not. Right then, through and through. Drizelle, here we come. We have a flip. I was just sick with worry after you said you'd be late. I chanced to run into Miss Elise outside of town, so we decided to travel back here together. If you don't mind my asking, why did you invite the young Miss here today? Oh, I don't mind you asking at all. Ellie's father is coming home. It's been ages since they've seen each other. I beg your pardon? Father? That's right. We got word he's finally getting a break from the job he was assigned to. W we really get to see Father? 
Of course, you silly. Isn't that why you rushed over here in the first place? Elise! Ah! My little princess. <laughs> I'm so happy you came out to see me. F father Yes, what's the matter? Has it been so long that you've forgotten what your old man looks like? <laughs> Chief, please settle down. Miss Elise seems upset. Please put me down, okay? Elise isn't a little baby, you know. Ah, forgive me. I was just so happy to see you. <laughs> Sometimes Elise is so cute that you just want to pick her up and squeeze her. And I couldn't be a prouder dad. There's nothing I wouldn't do to protect her. Anyone who dares to court her will go up against the highest standards. We know she's your sun, your moon, and your stars. You've said it so many times, I hear it in my sleep. Jürgen, you do realize you're the biggest oaf in the Kataro clan, right? Precisely why you picked me to be your right-hand man, Chief. Oh, guess your old pop owes you an apology, child. I got so tied up with work that I completely forgot to bring back souvenirs. But I shall make it up to you. Ask for anything you want, and it's yours. Anything? In the whole wide world? I can't think of anything. <laughs> a certain stuffed animal might be nice. Or maybe a nice accessory or something. Is it a bunnykins time? Definitely bunnykins. Oh, that's it! A bunnykins! Hmm? It's... it's for a friend of mine. Well, you've heard of bunnykins, right? Of course. Everyone with kids has heard of that toy. But those... Lady Drissel, would you mind if we were to rest for a bit, before the briefing? Oh, of course. You both must be exhausted from your journey. Please, make yourselves at home. If only we had the time. Monster poaching is on the rise again in the Sapstrath Deepwood. The bastards seem to be after pelts this time. Those poachers have apparently been slipping through the Katarl clan's defenses. We need better strategies for catching them. Uh, I've directed the Merchant's Coalition to boycott the purchase or sale of poached goods, but... Banning them just boosts their value on the black market. And the poachers aren't getting any less greedy. But we'll talk later, right, Elise? Everyone, please do try to rest up as much as possible. Tonight's the big reunion party. I just can't believe Zhao is my father. I know fractured dimensions are all funky, but can that really be true? Yes. In this dimension, at least. Then, I guess we had better find out more about Zhao. And quickly. Things will be complicated when the Elise of this dimension arrives. Yes, that could be a little complicated, couldn't it? Mm -hmm. Right then, so with Zhao as possibly a surrogate father, completely called by Becca as soon as his name came up, we continue on the next episode to find more about him, but for now, we're saved. What's up? It was based entirely upon the fact I thought they'd be too lazy to actually make Elise's parents, <laughs> and they'd use a pre-existing character model they wouldn't have to do any work for. Oh, stop <laughs> slagging it off. Cynical, cynical, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you called it anyway. <laughs> Storyline reading is what you do. But still, we've got ourselves a skip, but we'll get that at the start of the next episode. Join us then for more Tales of Exilia 2, where we find out more about the situation and who is the Divergence Catalyst. Bye bye. <laughs>